Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to make our own simulation cable and how to use simulation for fly sky transmitter. Simulation practice is very important before start flying cord in real. So let's get started. To build the simulation cable, we will need 3.5 mm connector. We can even use a damage headphones connector. Again, we will need two wires, connector, and soldering iron. And of course, soldering wire as well. So if you see 3.5 mm uh, connector pin out, first one is a mic, second one is audio out, third one is a ground. So from out of that, uh, we will be connecting mic and ground. So while connecting make sure they are, while, while soldering make sure that you are not touching the uh, headphone connector, well, not, uh, you are not touching the 3.5 mm connector because while soldering that connector will get uh, hot and uh, uh, it will uh, that connector will get hot. So let's do the connection. Okay, this is the pinout of the uh, fly sky transmitter connector. One is PPM, TX, RX, 5 volt, and ground. So out of that, we will be using PPM and ground. So insert the connector into the PPM and ground. So insert the connector like this. One pin will be in PPM and another pin will touch to the ground. So make sure that ground connection is connected to that second pin. Ok this is how we have to connect So here I will reconfirm with multimeter I will check the, con uh, I will check the continuity so I can confirm that second pin pin is connected to the ground so i will insert this 3.5 mm jack into pc's mic connector we will need interpreter software to understand the ppm and send the appropriate signal to the simulation software so here we will be using smart propo plus on the first page we don't have to do anything go to the transmitter tab Also in the transmitter tab, we can see the channel, we can see the channel moments reflecting here. So you can verify here all the channels condition. Sometimes switches or knob doesn't work. So here in my case, everything is working fine. After verifying, don't close the software. Because this software will send the data to the simulation software. So we'll keep the software as open. Now we will open the PikaSim simulation software. So now we will open the PikaSim software. Click on Free Sky. 
here we'll select the make your own choice plane and scenery third option uh, in this uh, types we'll select the chord here we go chord copter okay so these are the sceneries we can select so i will select one of them so for first time we will have to do some settings so go to, go to the joystick make sure that you have enable the joystick so we'll map all the channel to each uh, joystick so here i have uh, mapped uh, joystick 0 to roll stick joystick 1 to pitch stick So as you can see, joystick 0, I'm moving the joystick 0. So joystick 1, joystick 1 is mapped to pitch stick. Then joystick 2 is mapped to throttle stick. You can map your, uh, so you can map your channels to respect to function. You just have to change the function in map to option so after after completion of mapping okay likewise you can change the mapping I will save this profile, give some name, click on OK. Okay, now we will go to back, go back, and here we go. This is our simulation area, this is our flying area, and as you can see, there are two white dots. So to run simulation, click on play button. Uh, these two white dots are your joystick. So whatever movement you are doing with that joystick, that movement will get reflected with that white dot. So this way you can fly the cord. So enjoy your flying. Thanks for watching video, please like, share and subscribe for the channel for more videos.